Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash Entitled Parents. In today's episode, Entitled Mother wants me to give her my bracelet because her daughter wants it. Entitled Parents try to get a free business seat. Entitled Mom doesn't live here, but everything must be done her way. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Entitled mother wants me to give her my bracelet because her daughter wants it. I was out shopping at a little boutique at the summit in Birmingham, minding my own business. As I made my way to the cashier this woman and her little girl of about six approached me. This was our conversation. Woman, excuse me, my daughter really loves your bracelet. Me, thank you. Awkward silence where the woman just stares at me as I'm unloading my items at the checkout counter. Woman, I said my daughter really loves your bracelet. Me, I'm sorry, I thought I said thank you. Did I not? Woman, you did, but my daughter really loves your bracelet. Me, okay. Thank you for the compliment. Little girl whining, mommy, I want it. Woman, well? I continue to go about my business thinking she's talking to her daughter. Woman, aren't you going to do anything? Me, I'm sorry, what? Woman, if you didn't hear her, my daughter wants your bracelet. I haven't seen anything like that before. Me, oh, I didn't realize you wanted to know about it. It's from a company called XYZ. It's called Name of Bracelet. You can just wear it outside or charge it with a UV light and it glows. You can order it online from their website. This was a birthday gift from my mom. Woman, I didn't want a sales ad. My daughter wants your bracelet. You can order another one. You need to let my daughter have it. Me, excuse me? You cannot be serious. The little girl stomps her foot, Mommy. I want it. I want it. Now. That kid was oozing Veruca salt vibes. Woman, I am serious. She wants it. You're an adult. She's a child. You can get another one. Go ahead and give it to her. Me, fed up, look, I've been nice, but I don't know you or your kid, and I am not giving you my bracelet. Go bother someone else. Little girl starts a fit with crocodile tears, falls on the floor, and starts flailing around while screaming her head off with a combination of I want it. I want it. I want it. Make her give it to me. You said I could have it. EM, do you see what you did? My daughter is heartbroken. You should be ashamed of yourself. Give me that bracelet right now. Me, what I did. Your daughter is a brat and you are enabling her. Get away from me or I'll have them call security. Cashier, ma'am shall I make that call for you? Cashier to EM, ma'am could you please take her outside if she's going to have a fit? EM pointing at me, no. It's her fault. Turns to me my daughter wants that bracelet. I'll give you five dollars. Me, five dollars? Not that I would sell it at all but this is a seventy dollars bracelet. EM, okay ten dollars. Me, lady did you hear me? It's a seventy dollar bracelet and I'm not interested in selling it. It was a birthday gift from my now deceased mother. EM, it's used. I'll give you no more than $15. You should be giving it to me for my daughter instead of trying to extort money from me. Be glad I'm willing to pay it all. Me, you're crazy, lady. Clean out your ears. I, A, M. Not. Giving. Or dot selling. My bracelet. This is harassment. 
Take your screaming demon and get out of here before I tell this nice lady to call security. Woman, what did you call my daughter? You're an awful person. My daughter deserves that bracelet. She's been an angel all day. You're making her cry. All she wants is that bracelet. Meet a cashier, please call security. I'm not dealing with this anymore. She picks up a walkie and speaks into it. Woman, no. We're going. We're going. I hope you can sleep tonight, making a little girl cry like this. Me, don't worry, I'll sleep like a baby. Bye, now. Me to cashier, go ahead and call security. I have a feeling she'll be waiting for me when I go outside and I can smell the crazy on her. I'd like an escort to my car if it's not too much trouble. Cashier, already did. That lady is unhinged. I'm glad you are waiting. I was going to suggest it. I wound up waiting for a few moments for security, chatting to the cashier about how we were both shocked by the event and the absolute entitlement and nerve the woman had. I was relieved when security got there. The cashier and I filled the officer in on what had happened and he said he was happy to accompany me to my car. Sure enough, as I exited the store, the woman and her now silent kid were seated on the bench on the sidewalk outside the shop. They stood up and started towards me until she saw the security officer then they veered off towards another shop, quickly. I was very glad to see them go. Has anyone else had someone just come up and try to guilt or bully you into giving them a personal item or am I the only one? It was surreal. She can't afford a cheap bracelet so she has to attempt to rob a stranger and these people are allowed to have children? Yikes. I can't be the only one thinking this story sounds very embellished, if not completely made up. The sales pitch in the middle really makes me think they just wanted to advertise some bracelet and tell an EP story. Nice precautionary measure taken. I believe you have learned a great deal from the stories here about the crazies. So did you check for a vehicle following you back home or some cops being called on you? If that was Veruca Salt and her mother, they would have definitely gone to such an extent. Thank you. Unfortunately, I've had other experiences that have taught me to take precautions, not just the stories here. I did not go directly home. I met a friend and we met at another shopping center, stayed in some busy public areas, and ate dinner before we made a very convoluted route home just to be sure no one was following me because I honestly kind of expected it. I was pleasantly surprised that nothing more happened. I used to wear a coat with Lego keychains and fluffy fraggles on it that I loved to collect just to wear. It included a Lego Joker that was a torch. I work in retail and I had quite a few bratty kids and entitled parents want me to give them my keychains. Which I will add were not in the best condition as I wore them out. Obviously I'd say no, but the audacity of people disturbs me. Entitled parents try to get a free business seat. I was recently on a 3H flight, so it was a smallish plane, one of those in which business and economy have the same type of seats and are separated by a curtain. I was flying business, by sheer luck, definitely don't belong there lol, and since the plane was half empty, there was only one woman sitting in the row in front of me with a baby in her arms who couldn't be older than 6 months. As soon as we take off, a man comes from economy through the closed cordine and starts talking with the woman and fussing over the baby it becomes apparent that he's the dad. They both talked really loud, they definitely wanted our attention. The man returns to his seat and I see that it's directly behind the curtain, the first row in economy. And he has plenty of space around, WTF? Through the next hour, I shit you not, the man keeps coming to see the baby and talk with his wife every 10 minutes. He interrupts the meal service because he's right in the middle and the steward just can't get through. After too much of these shenanigans the cabin manager had had enough and told the couple they simply could not do that anymore. And then the charade began. They had it so prepared it was comical. They had booked one seat in each class because they were sure they would let them be together in business class because they have a baby. After all, there are vacant seats left. 
The steward almost laughed in their faces and told them they could both go to economy and be together for the rest of the flight. The woman lost it. I have paid a lot of money for this ticket to fly business class, I'm not going to economy. Let my husband come be here with his baby. She sulked for a while, talking loudly about how evil the airline was to her and her baby and how she was going to make a complaint, this was entertaining as hell, I wish I flew business more often. In the end she made a huge fuss about it but retreated to economy and the last hour of the flight was uneventful. The best part? The baby was a saint through all this, I could take a 12h flight with that little dude as long as his parents stayed home. It is really sad when a literal baby is more well behaved than its infantile, scabby parents. Unfortunately, I can see the child being used as bait for the rest of its time with the parents. The baby was more mature than the parents. LOL. Geez. Those people are the really annoying type. I have two children myself, but if I want to travel with them together, I buy the same ticket for all of us, FFS. By the way, the position is called cabin manager, chief flight attendant, or the purser. Last flight I was on some entitled woman in business is ordering lots of extra drinks and smuggling them back to her friend in economy. The crew spot it and tell her to knock it off and she has the audacity to go into the galley, behind the curtain and tell off the crew for ruining her experience of the airline. Entitled mom doesn't live here, but everything must be done her way. To start, this is a vent post, no big confrontation, just a very annoying entitled mom, so I'm sorry if this fits better somewhere else. I live in a rental. We have a shared garden, laundry room, and other amenities. It's a mix of rentals and owned apartments, and most residents, including myself, have lived here for several years. That's to say, you generally know who comes and goes around here. Over the summer, this lady has started coming and going all over the property. It's the mom of a newer resident, who actually seems nice enough. This mom is entitled, but in a slightly different way. She has slowly begun taking over all the shared space of our building. These are some of the things she's been doing. EM leaves passive-aggressive notes when she's dissatisfied with something X this machine is broken. Who's going to fix it? There's a manual next to the machine, clearly stating the number you need to call to get it fixed, can we all maybe remember to empty the lint collector in the dryer? It's not that hard, smiley face. And then leaves without emptying the lint collector herself. She often wants a specific resident to deal with it, but doesn't address him through anything but the notes. He is in no way the janitor. EM opens all the doors and windows in the basement and refuses to close them. A passive-aggressive note informed me it's because the basement is too humid. I can understand it if you're gonna be in the area and need to access the basement, but she just opens everything and leaves. If you go close them, she will go back down, open them again, and leave. I came down the other day, and not only were everything open, the shared laundry room keys were in the outside door. She was nowhere around. This is not a low crime area, and she's putting us at risk to be robbed in a way where insurance won't cover anything. This is also kind of triggering for me, as I was subjected to arson in a previous housing situation due to this exact behavior. She also had a phase where she'd prop open the front doors and all the fire doors as well, but that has fortunately not stuck. We have a really nice shared apple tree in the garden, the apples are plenty and delicious. Take what you need kind of thing. A neighbor of mine went out to grab an apple for herself and her kid, and immediately the EM flings open a window and yells don't take those. They aren't ripe yet. Neighbor is like I'll take my chances, thanks. EM huffs and is like suit yourself, but you're gonna have a bad time. Just. Really weird apple entitlement. EM decided that the laundry booking system was bad and implemented her own system. Before, you just booked the laundry room, and you'd have it available in the book time slots. With this new system, you gotta book the individual machine in the individual hours you plan to use each machine. Of course the new system has a passive-aggressive note attached. The first time I booked time slots, 
she actually deleted them. Not because she wanted to use that slot herself, I had just done it wrong, sad face. Infuriating. We have a no loose dogs in the shared garden rule. It's mostly to avoid random dog poops, but it's not the only reason. Entitled mom does not care, her daughter's chihuahua is constantly off leash and running everywhere. The other night I heard it try to attack a cat. A few weeks ago, my kitchen started smelling really weird, like chemical and toxic. The smell kept getting stronger, and I could not figure out where it was coming from. Went to the basement, and some areas were also pungent. I asked a neighbor if he knew where the smell was coming from, and he helped me search for the source. Turns out, EM had been soaking some wooden fence posts in paint thinner, and thought it was a great idea to leave them to dry in the tool closet right below my kitchen, sending all those nice toxic fumes right up through the vents. The neighbor got EM to move them. I want to reiterate, she does not live here. The daughter has a really busy job, so the EM is around a lot, I suspect to take care of the dog, and evidently the daughter's laundry. Because of this, she feels entitled to micromanage all shared space. Several other residents are really sick of her antics, and she has been confronted at least once by Janitor Man's mom, who also owns a rental in the building. I just needed to get this off my chest, because I have no idea how to address this. She's just really annoying. Shred her notes. Ignore her rules. If she persists complain to Lod Lord or building management company that a Parayon who does not live here is interfering with your use of the common areas. Don't shred the notes. Keep them as evidence of the interference and shoo the landlord. I would say, if you haven't already, have a roommate's meeting with the daughter and the other roommates. If the daughter doesn't take action, then the landlord. Is the daughter aware of how you are all feeling about her mother's interference? Are you allowed to bring in unauthorized roommates or subletters? She is constructively telling you that she lives there through her actions and notes. If there's a rule against roommates and sublets, there you go. She can't try to control how you live if she doesn't live there, and if you try to kick her out for living there and she argues that she doesn't then she has no say and just agreed that she doesn't. In my community, we've had similar issues with tenants sneaking in others in violation of their lease. They ended up getting evicted. Get the other tenants slash owners together and as a group either write a letter or approach the daughter in person. Explain all of her mother's actions that are unwelcome and inappropriate and tell her that, basically she needs to get her mom under control because everyone is sick of her crap. So far the most helpful reply, as there is no common landlord. Those of us who rent, rent from the individual owners of the apartments. The daughter owns her apartment, and as such there is no way to legally evict the EM, as long as she's a guest at her daughter's place. But making her aware that her mom is being inappropriate might help. Ask her to leave and if she doesn't get her trespassed. If she is not accompanied by her daughter she has no business being in such areas. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.